Log Cabin Republicans are the hilariously named Republican group uh, that are gay Americans. So, so they're gay and they're Republicans. Okay. So now why? They say, well, you know, uh, you can be gay and still have conservative economic principles. Well, is that true? Of course it's true. Uh, the, your sexual orientation has uh, no effect on what you think of economic principles or foreign policy. So you can be conservative in other ways, obviously, right? Now the question is, can you still support Republican candidates, though, who say, hey, look, I agree with you on tax policy. I'm just as greedy as you are. I want tax cuts for the rich. I'm just as much of a warmonger as you are. I'd like to start another disastrous war in the Middle East. And if you're gay and you agree with those positions, maybe you want to vote for those guys. But can you vote for them, given that they say, I don't believe that you are the equal of other US citizens. I don't think you should have the same rights. Whether it's marriage or other rights, and the Republican Party, of course, fought uh, the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, they're in favor of the Defense Marriage Act, and the list goes on and on. So, and obviously they're against gay marriage. And they've been against gay rights forever now, right? So how can you vote for a guy who says, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on the other stuff, but I don't really think you're a full person with full c citizenship rights. You don't get all the rights that I do and my friends do. Okay, can you vote for that guy? Oh, look, come on. Of course you can't vote for that guy, unless you're sellouts like the log cabin Republicans. Now, Barney Frank called them Uncle Toms, and they were just aghast. How could you? And so, what did they do after Barney Frank called them that? They endorsed Mitt Romney, who's totally against gay marriage and all the gay rights that they're fighting for today. So here's their statement. Despite our disagreement with Governor Romney on the issue of marriage, on balance it is clear that today's economic climate Concern for the future of our country must be the highest priority. Now, think about this. Imagine during the civil rights era and during Jim Crow, etc., African Americans were like, well, you know, uh, I really like Strom Thurmond, who, by the way, ran as the head of the segregationist party at one point for president, right? I really like Strom Thurmond's uh, points about the tariffs. I think we should have a couple more tariffs. And uh, I, I like his ideas on interstate commerce. Oh right, he doesn't think that I should have any rights and I should drink from a separate water fountain and that if I enter a pool that white people are in, they will have to obviously clear out all the water, clean the pool and then refill it and make sure that black and another black person never enters it. But God, his point on tariffs is a good one. I think I'm going to vote with him. You see that that would make you an Uncle Tom. Okay? That would make you also by the way a little mentally deficient because you are giving away your rights, your core constitutional rights because you kind of like their policies in other regards and when you look back in history was that the right move <laughs> suffice it to say that would not have been the right move so now gay americans that are in the log cabin republicans basically keep it real what they're saying is we love money we're so greedy you can do anything to us you can even take away our rights and make us less uh, 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 a citizen with less rights than other citizens as long as give me the tax cuts give me the tax cuts yes are they uncle toms of course they're uncle toms